remembering every second of it. See, stop share, hold on. For some reason, it like stopped sharing when I started recording. There we go. Can you guys see my screen? Awesome, perfect. For some reason, it, it at least it was showing me that it had stopped, um, which is strange. <laughs> Um, so this class is um, emotional benefits of using the essential oils, how we can use them, how they can affect our brain, um, specifically the adaptive line, so our adaptive essential oil, those capsules, um, and the new addition to the adaptive line that was just released on Monday. And then I'll talk very briefly about the Aroma Touch hand technique. And I'm going to... For some reason, my image is not the one being pinned on top, and I would like it to be me for the recording. Okay, there we go. So, I'm Caitlin Sosby. I have been doing this for about six years now. Um, so this is a integral part of our life. Um, we use them every single day, probably every hour, something crazy like that. Um, they're everywhere in our house. Um, they're a big part of our life. Um, I am a mother of three kids. I've got a six, four, and one-year-old, almost two-year-old. Um, I am a wife to Alan. Um, he's a pilot in the United States Air Force, and so right now we're living in Colorado Springs, although I've called many states my home. I think I've lived in seven states now. Um, and so lots of different places, but I enjoy the moving lifestyle. So it works. doTERRA really, really works for this kind of lifestyle where just – we get orders and two weeks later, we're moving to another state, um, which has happened before. Um, so anyways, that's me and let's, let's go ahead and get started. I like to start every class with this wellness pyramid. Everything we do in doTERRA somehow supports you in a wellness lifestyle and it's something on this pyramid. So the most important part, the foundation of our health is eating right. It's taking a good, healthy, bioavailable supplement, which I talked about a class um, two weeks ago, all about what our LLB pack is, um, and I'll be sending out a link to that recorded class. Um, exercise is really important for our overall well-being, and what we're going to talk about today is managing stress. So there's rest and stress, um, and today dealing with our emotions, supporting ourselves in this sort of way, um, has a really important part in our life. So many times with doTERRA, you only hear about the top two parts. That Essential Oils 101 class talks about these top two parts of our pyramid. But if we're creating a whole wellness lifestyle, we need to start from the bottom. We need to talk about eating right, exercising, managing our stress, um, getting a good night's sleep. And yeah, these things are really important. They're really easy ones to kind of switch into. Instead of grabbing that pill bottle, we're grabbing this supplement bottle instead. It's an easy swap um, or reducing our toxic load. It's, it's easier to do those things, but it's important that we're addressing all of them. So in this class, we're going to be talking about managing our stress and our emotions. So using our essential oils for an emotional benefit. Whether you're new to essential oils or have been using them for many years, the topic of emotional aromatherapy is fascinating and it's applicable in everyday life. Um, yeah, essential oils can be used for cleaning and cooking and all those other things that we talked about on that pyramid. Um, and that's great for maintaining our good health and promoting our well-being. But if you haven't tried essential oils to manage your health, you're missing out on a big part of what essential oils can do for you. Um, today, we're going to talk about that power. Um, we're going to talk about the adaptive line that I mentioned. We're going to talk a little bit about meditation and um, the power of touch. This isn't new. Um, some people think that this is just a new fad or trend. Yes, it's a growing movement. I mean, it was something that wasn't. Um, wasn't used heavily um, recently, and now people are starting to jump back into it, but that doesn't mean that it's new, or it doesn't mean that the science is totally new. Um, ancient civilizations like China, Greece, Rome, and India all recognized the power of essential oils and how they could influence that human emotion. Um, they use them in religious ceremonies. You see um, lots of examples of using essential oils in the Bible. Um, 
if Jesus's feet were anointed with spikenard essential oil. We know that um, at Christmas, he, you know, at his birth, he was brought frankincense and myrrh. These aren't new, um, and we're just finally catching up um, to what some of these other civilizations already knew, and our science is just finally catching up to that. Now, aromatherapy wasn't actually officially coined until the 20th century. Um, but we are getting a lot of science that's starting to back up all that um, that they already knew. So the science behind ero emotional aromatherapy. As you know, each essential oil has its own unique chemical makeup. The chemical design of an essential oil determines what it's useful for. So some chemical elements make an essential, essential oil useful for cleaning, while others are great for the skin. So we know florals are great for the skin, citruses are great for cleaning. Um, the examples go on and on. When it comes to aromatherapy though, essential oils can be used to create specific emotional responses depending on their chemical makeup. So when essential oil is inhaled, I'm going to mute everybody really quick. There we go, I was hearing some chatter or some movement, I guess. All right, so when an essential oil is inhaled, it travels through the nose and it's processed by a portion of the brain that's responsible for controlling our sense of smell. From there, aromatic pathways connect the scent to the part of our brain where memories and experiences are stored. As the aroma travels through the aromatic pathways, memories are triggered, giving us an emotional response. Because everyone has different memories and life experiences, we're all going to have a very different response to each of the oils. And it's not all going to be exactly the same. That's why someone will love geranium and someone will hate it. But we do have general ideas of um, what different chemical makeups that generally give a response of X, Y, Z. Um, so we can give you a little bit of an idea of which oils to grab first for different um, responses. So why are we using essential oils and not something else? In our stressful, ever-changing world, there are many sources that can be used to manage emotions. So why oils? First, the biggest reason is that they're natural safe substances that won't cause harmful problems, side effects, um, or endanger your health or body. Many of the substances and sources that we use to manage our stress or deal with our emotions can actually end up hurting us in other ways, um, or making the problem worse in some cases. Using essential oils for mood management provides a simple and safe way to deal with those complex emotions that are constantly changing anyways. Second, it provides a great quick response. Essential oils quickly alter our moods. Um, in many cases, you can actually start to feel the calming, soothing, or uplifting properties the moment you open the bottle, even before you put it on. Um, inhaling essential oils and applying them to the skin, diffusing them in a room that you're in, allows you to quickly alter your mood because the oil would, will generate an emotional response from the brain from the very first sniff. So it's very, very fast. Third, it's convenient. Um, essential oils provide the user with a convenient way to manage mood nearly any time of day and at any location. Sure, there are other great things that you can do for your emotions. Yoga is great. Meditation is great. Taking a break, going on vacation, all those things are going to help us with our emotions, but they're not always practical. When your kids are having a breakdown in the checkout at Target, um, it is not the best time to you know, do some yoga, but you've got some oils in your purse or in your pocket and you can pull those out and you can immediately apply them and you can immediately in that moment from the very first sniff benefit from the essential oil. Your kids can also benefit. So right in that moment, you can swipe them with some essential oil at the same time. Now, how do we use them? We're using them the same way we use all of the essential oils. We're using them aromatically, topically, and internally. Um, the top two ways that we are using them is actually that aromatic and topical. Remember, what we're doing is we're smelling it, we're letting it touch that olfactory, that going through that system um, so that we can chemically affect our brain, we can bring up other um, an emotional response. Um, so we wanna smell it, whether that's opening the bottle, diffusing it, 
putting some on your wrist so that you're smelling it, putting it on the, on your temples. So it's not only getting in your bloodstream, but so that you're, you're re-smelling it throughout the day. Um, but then you, there's also some benefits to taking it internally as well. So this is the emotional aromatherapy wheel. I'm sure it's not perfect on this screen. Um, and don't worry in our, my follow-up email tomorrow, I'm going to send you a link to this wheel um, so that you can look at it closely with great composition. Um, but I can at least give you an idea of how we can use it. it this wheel breaks down the emotional effects of essential oils um, even further. So the chemical makeup and unique plant part of each, each essential oil gives it some kind of benefit, whether it's grounding, soothing, calming, renewing, harmonizing, energizing, uplifting, et cetera, et cetera. When you want to produce a specific feeling or emotion, you can choose an oil based on that need. So what's great, you're going to see around this wheel, it's showing you motivate, cheer. It, it's showing you our emotional, doTERRA's emotional essential oil blends. And those are great. I absolutely love those. But what I love about this wheel is that it's giving us categories of essential oils so that it, even if you don't have those specific oils, you can grab an oil from one of those categories to help you out. You need something uplifting and cheery and happy, you can see that you can grab citruses. You need something grounding, you know that you can grab one of your tree blends. Um, and so it just gives you a little bit of idea, idea. I don't know if you can quite see in there. It'll say like discouraged and fearful, different feelings that you might have and then what oil you can use to counteract that negative feeling. So let's talk a little bit about the adaptive system. Stress is something we encounter every day. It can come from the form of like an upcoming test or the whole world right now, um, dealing with coronavirus and quarantine. Um, it's stressful. People are losing jobs. People are getting sick. It's, it's a really hard environment. Um, maybe you have a business, uh, an important business meeting or you're moving to a new home um, or dealing with deployment. Um, sometimes difficult situations can be too much to handle, um, leaving you feeling overwhelmed and discouraged. Um, doTERRA provided this adaptive system. It's brand new. It actually only came out this last fall. What took them so long? Um, <clears throat> but it's designed specifically to support you in moments of tension and stress. Um, anything where you're, it's just getting overwhelming up here, it can help you out. Um, so what's great about this is that they've hit that aromatic topical and internal use. So you'll see on here, this is for aromatic, topical, and internal use. They've got something for everything. Um, the system, in, so let's talk about what each of these things actually does. So this is our adaptive blend. This is one that I'm going to diffuse if I'm using the topical version of it in that touch. I'm just going to apply it to my wrists and to my temples, to the back of my neck. Um, I put this, my four-year-old son just gets overwhelmed and very upset about things. Um, his Lego toy will break or something, and it's the end of the world. And so we make a habit of multiple times putting adaptive right over where his brain stem is, um, and it, it helps. Um, and he asks for his adaptive oil. Um, so topically, we're going to we're gonna use it there. And then also, I love to diffuse like adaptive in the playroom or just wherever we are. If, if I know that they're prone to stress or chaos or whatever crap because we're not going out into the world anymore. And so they just need some calming. And it's anxiety producing. So the adaptive blend has a wild orange, lavender, capiba, spearmint, magnolia, rosemary, neroli, and sweet gum. Wild orange. I'm sure everybody has a bottle of wild orange in their house, or you have a bottle with wild orange in it. So if you've got On Guard, you've got some wild orange in there. Um, it's commonly used in our essential oil blends, and it's aimed to promote emotional well-being because it's uniquely energizing, but it's also calming at the same time. It's a really cool citrus. Um, clinical research has shown that due to its concentration of the limonene, um, aromatic and topical application of the wild orange actually promotes a positive mood and supports a relaxing environment. Let me tell you, if lavender is not helping your kids sleep at night, try, well, try wild orange. It's a weird little trick there. Um, lavender. The calming and relaxing effect of lavender is often considered the root of modern aromatherapy, and the past century has provided a significant amount of evidence to support it. 
While applied topically and used aromatically, numerous human clinical trials have validated the ability of lavender's aroma to improve mood, reduce feelings of anxiousness and stress, and create a restful environment. If you've ever never heard of essential oils before, you've heard of lavender. Um, so this one's a great calming one that we put in there. Capaiba, my favorite one in this blend. Um, this is the essential oil with the highest known concentration of that beta caryophylline. Um, Capaiba's spectrum of benefits is almost endless. I could teach an entire class on the amazingness of Capaiba. Um, while it is primarily known for being a powerful antioxidant and supporting the immune and respiratory systems, when it's used internally, it and being great for the skin topically, the rich concentration of that beta caryophylline also imparts an uplifting aroma um, that research is suggesting may actually be beneficial for obtaining, for helping you abstain from unhealthy habits. So if you keep going to the pantry because you're stressed out right now, um, adaptive can actually help you um, deal with those unhealthy unhealthy habits which is anxiety producing. Um, spearmint. So the dominant volatile aromatic, aromatic compound in spearmint um, is a monoterpene ketone called carbone. Um, along with having numerous benefits while applied topically, um, such as like cleansing properly properties when you apply it topically, human clim clinical research has shown that essential oils high in the carbone like spearmint and dill, have an uplifting and arousing aroma that are particularly beneficial for those with active lifestyles. So another one that's just, it's uplifting but calming at the same time. Magnolia, it's got a high concentration of um, the monoterpene alcohol called linalool. Um, along with many benefits, while applied topically, essential oils rich in that linalool have actually been shown um, in experimental research to promote a calm environment and feelings of relaxation. Rosemary um, also is shown in clinically to increase feelings of alertness and focus and to reduce feelings of stress. Neroli has that linalool and linalool acetate, um, also great for promoting calming feelings. And then sweet gum, um, another great one for calm and uh, for a calm and restful environment. So all of these are just really, really great for creating an awesome blend of not calming only to like make you fall asleep, which is not what this blend does. It's calming while also being uplifting, um, which is what's really unique about this blend. It just gives you a good focused state of being, like how you feel when you do some meditation. Um, you're not sleepy. You're just alert and focused, but also very calm. Let's talk about the adaptive capsule. This is my favorite part of the adaptive line. I take a couple of these every single day. It's a GABA supplement. So emotional and mental well-being starts in the brain. GABA is a neurotransmitter, a chemical that facilitates the communication within the cells of the brain. So GABA is naturally produced in the brain. And it's used to transfer information from other systems of the body, specifically the central nervous system. GABA is considered an inhibitory neurotransmitter. In fact, it's considered the most inhibitory of the neurotransmitters. Because it works by blocking certain brain signals and decreasing nervous system activation. So the primary function of GABA is to regulate or inhibit the activity of cells in the brain and central nervous system that are responsible for a wide spectrum of effects. Okay? So we're helping our body. So having enough GABA means we're helping our body manage our behavior, it's influencing our co cognition, modulating our responses to stress. If we don't have enough of it, we're gonna start having some issues. You might have issues relaxing, you might have problems with sleeping, you might have problems even with your weight um, if you don't have the proper amount of GABA in your body. Now, it plays a really important role in our mood modulation. So the GABA mimicking compounds are popular for addressing various emotional and psychological concerns. There's also scientific evidence that supplementation with GABA may improve biomarkers of calmness and overall health. Yes, you can get some GABA from food sources, which I'm always for getting things from food sources. So you can get it from some teas or some fermented foods, um, but it's not in very high concentration. So you would have to have a lot of it to have like a real noticeable effect in your mood. 
Um, but what's great with taking a naturally derived GABA supplement is that you're getting the amount that you need to actually see a positive effect. So one serving of this is considered just taking like one in the morning. Um, I, specific, I personally take two, um, and I, I like teaching this class because this is something that I've actually personally dealt with a lot. I've dealt with a lot of postpartum depression and anxiety. I've dealt with a lot of this issue. And so I've used all of these successfully in my life to overcome some of these problems or still work through them. I'm still navigating it, but I'm navigating it in a really healthy way using my supplements and my essential oils. Um, so I know that in the clinical study um, for this adaptive supplement, um, they actually had them take two a day. So they had them take one in the morning and one in the evening. And so I do that because I started noticing that I was getting anxious and and um, just tense in the evenings. And so I knew that, that in the study that they did too. And so I knew that was safe. And so I take two, one in the morning and one the night. And I feel like the best way for me to describe is I feel like me again. Um, and so I love this one. And I just want all the mamas in the world to know that this exists. So that's our adaptive capsule. Next, I'm going to show you the brand new system from doTERRA as part of this adaptive system. This is the adaptive app. So looking back at that wellness lifestyle pyramid that we were talking about, the important parts of our health. Um, now, doTERRA, we mostly talk about, you know, oils and supplements and maybe reducing some of our toxic load by using um, healthy, more naturally de derived products. Um, but there's also an aspect of we need to have practices, daily practices, um, beyond just oils or used with our oils and supplementation, um, practices that we know work to help with our depression and anxiety and just having control over our, our mind as, as much as we can. Um, so there are thousands of studies that have shown that mindfulness meditation can actually positively impact mental and physical health whether it's reducing stress, increasing our focus, improving relationships. Research shows that meditation or mindfulness works. While the research on mindfulness, um, especially digital mindfulness programs, it's still growing because it's brand new, um, there is evidence to support the use of mindfulness training for many different outcomes. Um, so I'm brand new to this. So I can't give you a huge testimony for this. I've only been using this since Monday when I downloaded the app. Um, so you can go find a doTERRA adaptive app um, and they've got all kinds of different um, videos to, to walk you through some morning or middle of day or evening meditation, whenever you do it. Um, there's not a better or best time. It, the best time is when you'll actually do it. Um, what's cool about this app and what makes it so different from the other ones out there is that we actually use a voice analysis system called Chirp. Um, super cool. It's a patented process where you, you say a mantra before your meditation. It records your voice, analyzes it, and then you say it again at the end. After you've been using the app for a little bit, so it's going to take at least a week um, it has enough of a baseline of your voice that it can analyze it, um, and it can actually track your progress. It can track your sleep and your stress and help you see, okay, I thought I was handling my stress well. I'm not. I need to take another step towards handling my stress, um, or I'm doing better now. And you can see the progress in the app as it's being analyzed um, through our voice analysis, which I just think is super, super cool. And this is brand new, and we'll find out more in the next coming weeks as everyone's starting to get their voice analyses um, coming in. Last but not least, let's talk a little bit about the Aroma Touch hand technique. This is going to be just a really quick look at it. I'm going to send you more details and a detailed video of how to do it in your emails um, when I follow up with the um, recording to this session. Um, but the Aroma Touch technique is all about creating an emotional connection. And the science behind that connection is as validated as, as it is compelling. So tactile communication, touching each other, is our first form of communication. We begin receiving tactile signals even in the womb. Um, and touch plays a critical role in that parent-child relationship in those early years. Um, in essence, the first sense 
we require if you, if you really think about it. Um, in recent studies, researchers have shown that emotional communication is very effective through touch. Um, it's something that we can really give to each other and um, give them positive emotions. So we can, we can communicate love, gratitude, sympathy, fear, anger, all through just touching someone, even touching strangers. Um, a great thing that you can do um, outside of this coronavirus shutdown world, um, a lot of wellness advocates, people with essential oils, actually take their oils to a local um, nursing home and they go around with their oils. They let them pick from like maybe three or four oils, maybe a stress relieving, a calming and a, maybe a pain oil. And then they do this aroma touch hand technique on the elderly. They're not being touched the way they need to. Um, touch is incredibly healing. Now we're not doing, um, a type of massage that's really deep. It's not like a deep muscle massage, nothing like that. It's about the communication and touch. We're releasing that Oxycontin, that love hormone. Um, and we're really initiating that, the contact. Um, and what, sorry, I'm <clears throat> getting mixed up in my brain. Um, <laughs> but what's cool about it is that when you give it, you're also receiving a lot of those benefits. So first you're going to put an oil right in the drop, a drop in their hand, and then you're going to rub it around, around their hand. And then over the top of the hand, you're going to pull right like this on either side. And I'm going to send you a video where you can see a lot, lot better around here. And you're going to go through each of the sections of the hand and you're going to do cir circles in those, in those sections. And then you're going to do like reflexology right up three times very slowly up the hand up each each section three times as you can see in this picture and then you're going to do an interphalangeal pull so obviously this was a very very quick um, little demonstration and i'm going to send you a full instructional after um tomorrow when i send out the recording but i hope this gives you this is the end of the presentation um i hope this gives you a little idea of how much essential oils can actually support you emotionally. Um, why it's important to, if, if you're experiencing that, that postpartum depression or that those feelings of anxiousness to consider, maybe I've got low GABA. Um, maybe I can pull out that rose from my purse and use that for emotional benefits, not just because it smells good and because it supports my immune system. Uh, there are other benefits to those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stop recording and then we can 